It's the moment you've been waiting for. Hey there, I'm Rich DeMuro with CNET TV and you are in the queue, Week in Review. We're talking the top tech stories for the last week of May 2007 and a little bit of June. Let's get you started with some eye candy. Red Bull gives you wings and not just the jittery caffeine and sugar induced ones. The Red Bull Air Race is a flight competition where pilots maneuver fast and close to the ground, racing against time at speeds up to 250 miles an hour. Crowds are closed for in-your-face action. There's a race in Turkey this weekend. Two tech titans took the stage at the fifth annual D All Things Digital Conference. Walt Mossberg and Kara Swisher. Oh yeah, and they also got to talk to Bill Gates and Steve Jobs. We've kept our marriage secret for over a decade now. <laughs> the 90-minute discussion touching on everything from those I'm a Mac, I'm a PC ads to the early days of Macintosh and Microsoft. The joint onstage appearance, the first in over 20 years. If you're like me, you got your smartphone so you don't have to lug around a computer all the time. But handheld pioneer Palm is betting big that road warriors are tired of squinting at small screens and cramped keyboards. Their Folio mobile companion links up to your smartphone and lets you edit emails, documents, and surf the web through Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. The device is not meant to replace a laptop. $500 Folio features a 10-inch screen, 5-hour battery life, and weighs in at 2.5 pounds. My biggest problem with Apple TV is the lack of high-definition programming available for it. After all, the device is meant to connect to your HD TV. But Apple is going even lower res by adding YouTube video to the device. Beginning in mid-June, you'll be able to wirelessly stream selected YouTube videos through the device. Apple will start with current and popular videos, then continue to add the full library. Now since the quality is pretty choppy on computer screens, I can only imagine how blocky it's going to look on the big screen. But you will be able to use your Apple TV remote to browse and play the snack size shorts. Definitely not a bad idea, but I'd still like to see some HD movie content soon. Finally, the beta. While Google has PageRank and Ask used to have Jeeves, and now they have that algorithm, when it's a human touch you want in a web search, say hello to Mahalo. The human-powered search engine uses guides to handcraft results pages. The neat thing about this site is that you won't find any spam in its search results, and pages only include the best links to tell you more about your topic. There are 4,000 popular searches now live. Mahalo's goal is to have 10,000 by the end of the year. My favorite is the Mahalo Top 7. These are right at the top, the seven best links for each search term. And a good link for you, the CNET TV blog. There you can learn more about what we talk about right here on the queue. I'm Rich Demiro with CNET TV in New York City, and I love the extra leg room in Exit Rows. For more video like this, go to CNET.com and click on CNET TV.